Hello everybody, GamerPenny here, bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. When we last left off, we were coming back to turn in our quest to Papachon here, and we have arrived to do that. I summoned another minion, and it is our Chocobo Chick Courier, so we're going to have this flying Chocobo <laughs> with us all episode. Um... There's a party going on here. We got a couple other players and and uh, Lily Ra, who we rescued, is back. So the plan for today is we're going to turn in our quest to Papachon. And then we're going to go pick up our level 5 uh, Thaumaturge quest. So let's see what Papachon has to say. Thank the gods you've returned. You had us all so worried. You do realize what would happen if a person of your noble stature were to be injured or worse. Why, her grace the sultana would be beside herself with grief, and so would her subjects. I dare say they'd be weeping in the streets. But I have already given you cause to weep, Papachon, you and the people of Alda. Mm, they're saying nope. Please, you're... You're not to say such things. We will find it, I swear to you. It is not my place to make demands, my, my lady, but I beg you, please stay out of harm's way. I apologize for causing you undue worry, Papachon. I shall refrain from traveling unescorted in the future. He agrees to that. <laughs> and off they go. One by one. So I made a, a few small adjust adjustments to our uh, graphics and I turned down the grass quality. And I'm hoping by turning down the grass quality, it will actually look better uh, on YouTube if you're watching there. So um, I cannot thank you enough, Vesper. I understand you fought bravely to protect Lady Lilyra from void scent fiends. For your gallant service, you deserve all the riches in the royal vaults. Alas, a small token of my gratitude is the best I can offer. We'll take it. Hmm? A sarcastic man with a strange contraption strapped to his shoulder? I see you meant Thancred. He's a scholar who spends his days investigating oddities in the aether. Rather too fond of the sound of his own voice for my liking, but perfectly harmless. As for you, Vesper, you're just the sort of adventurer we need around here. I pray you show the same kindness to the people of Thanalan as you did to us today. Uh, thank you. Hey, it, I mean, there was no token. It was, it was experience and, um, and gill. Okay, so we leveled up. We got to level six. We got a new spell, Thunder. Deals lightning damage with a potency of 30. Additional effect, lightning damage over time with a potency of 40. So it's like a dot. So we'll, we'll probably start off with thunder. Okay, so the main quest continues here. I am gonna pick this up and see where it takes us. But I do wanna keep in mind that we wanna go get our level five thaumaturge quest. So looks like we'll get some steak from doing this. So, Sisadoa, you're an adventurer, yes? If you're not otherwise occupied, I have a favor to ask. I've resolved to repay a debt of gratitude, which I owe to the owner of the coffer and coffin. For this purpose, I've purchased from the royal plantations a prodigiously plump pumpkin, a particularly popular piece of produce. Well, I'll say that five times fast. What the heck? Alas, I cannot part this place to procure and proffer the pumpkin. You see, the scheduled shipment from the Nanawa mines, for which I wait, is late. I would prevail upon you to pick up the pumpkin in my stead and see it safely to the coffer and coffin. Present this receipt of purchase to Gaggery of the Royal Plantations and she will yield it to you. I apologize for asking you to attend to this time-consuming task, but I truly appreciate your assistance. Yeah, no problem. Oh, it's right up here. So we'll go do this real quick. And then, uh, hopefully this won't be like another, oh, it's right up here, it's right up here. Because <laughs> I want to go get the level 5 Thaumaturge quest, but here, let's let's procure our pumpkin. If Sisadoa doesn't come calling soon, this particular spectacular specimen sh shall sadly be past its prime. Wow, these ton, ton twisters going on. So we got our receipt of purchase. 
Oh, so you're to deliver this decadent delight? I can say with confidence that any gourmand would be grateful for such a grand gift. Here is a pumpkin. I hope it meets with Roger's approval. Fresh produce is somewhat scarce in these parts, and as such, we are always deluged with demand. You know the way to the coffer and coffin, correct? It is beyond the bridge to the northwest. Look for a place where local laborers lounge. Okay. Cool, yes. Um, that's going to take us up here. Close to Blackbrush Station. Um, do I want to... I do. I'm going to go back. We're going to return. So we return to the Steps of Nald. And we're going to get our Thaumaturge quest. And do that before we turn in the pumpkin to Roger. Whoever Roger is. Someone at the coffer and coffin. Um, so we can just real quickly use the Aethernet and go to the Thaumaturge Guild. And we'll ski speak to one of the five brothers kokabuki or kokabiku or um what in the world oh there must be an event going on an egg event oh man i really want to take part in the egg event i'll have to find out where it is because i think you get an actually kind of a neat mount from it maybe so i had to cough real quick didn't want to cough in you guys' ears um, Kokobuki. I'll figure out about that egg event, and I assume, like most events, we're gonna go to Gridania to pick it up. And if that's the case, we we have some work to do <laughs> before we're able to do that. But, um, so let's focus and get through these quests as quickly as possible so we can go take part in the event. Otherwise, we'll just wait for next year. So, Kokobuki, level 5 Thaumaturge quest. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Your burgeoning power strains against the confines of your untried mortal shell. Another trial you must have. From this day forth, your tasks and challenges will be shaped by the teachings found within Thaumaturgy, the Yawning Abyss, a tome penned by the renowned Thaumaturge, Zozomaya. My brothers, who have not once tasted the bitter draught of defeat, will instruct you on the vital lessons to be gleaned from the four extensive chapters that comprise this exemplary work. Much shall you learn about the threats with which a practitioner of our art must contend. The first chapter, The Threat of Intimacy, falls within Kokobigo's purview. It is only fitting that one so averse to being approached should teach you the wisdom to be uncovered therein. Okay. I think that's the guy that yelled at us for sneaking up on him <laughs> when we first got here. So let's talk to him. Arg! Yep, <laughs> it's definitely. We spooked him. Ah, yes, Vesper. I've been expecting you. Allow me to read to you the pertinent passages from the opening chapter of Zozomaya's Guide. Ahem. <clears throat> the threat of intimacy. Ah, how magnificent the potent power we wield. Roaring flames, piercing ice, and shocking bolts are matched not by fist or sword or spear. But the burly warrior waxes fearsome with every closing step. Fists shatter bone, blades slide through flesh, spears puncture soft bellies. Know you this threat and stand you apart from such men. Ugh. Ugh, that last part makes me queasy, no matter how often I recite it. The lesson, however, should be obvious. Keep your distance from your foes. Apart from the agony of being hit or stabbed, or worse, you'll have a devil of a time completing an incantation with an enemy flailing his weapons at your person. Thus, the wise thaumaturge always strikes from afar, the farther the better. Now, let us proceed with your trial. Take this dried fish and set it down in the vicinity of the silver bazaar. Next, simply draw back to a comfortable distance and wait for a vulture to swoop in to feed. That's when you ambush the nasty creature with a barrage of deadly spells. Once you have slain the scavenger, be sure to retrieve a generous slice of vulture meat for Fafafono. <laughs> what a name, Fafafono. He doesn't mind us conducting trials so close to his shop, so long as he's properly compensated. Yes, Vesper, we pay him in sorcery blasted bird flesh. Okay, <laughs> so we gotta go lure out, um, oh, that's cool mask that this guy's wearing. Oh, Belial? Isn't that, uh, isn't that a Diablo demon? <laughs> oh, well, that, that's kind of cool. All right, so, um, this is actually going to take us to a different part, Western Thanalan, and 
uh, step nine is in central Thanalan. So let's go do it quick. We'll go teleport over here. I love it. I love the eggs. I want to play. I want to play. <laughs> Whatever the event is, I want to go. Uh, we'll go to Western Thanalan to do our class quest. Ooh, mapping the realm, Western Thanalan. We got our achievement. And we will quickly just go do um, the threat of intimacy. Oh, but I see straight ahead of us a hunting log. So we're going to go kill some little ladybugs first before we go do it. That's what happens in M MMO. You tend to get distracted by things that you pass. But I do not want to have to come back and complete our hunting log at a later date. It, it's better to see these and do them as you're passing them the first time than have to go back and hunt them down. I usually have to pull up a wiki when I miss one like that. Like, where were these guys again? They don't exactly tell you. They tell you where, like, where, what place, but sometimes the mobs are such in such small, like, um, spots and pockets that that it's almost impossible to find. Uh oh, <laughs> more hunting log. Sorry guys, we're gonna get these guys really, really quick. Uh, these cactuars. Uh, cactuars are one of my favorite mobs from Final Fantasy. But they are so, like they can, they can one shot you depending on which Final Fantasy you're playing. Uh, if you guys played the newest one, the Final Fantasy 15, I actually haven't beaten it. I got, I got so far in it, and I, whenever there's an open world game like that with Final Fan, like with Final Fantasy 15, I tend to get overwhelmed and not sure what to do, <laughs> which is weird because I love MMOs, but okay. But I, I w it made me think of it because. The cactuars are if you if you find one you find where to farm them. They're actually a good way to get leveled really fast in Final Fantasy 15. So we're going to pass these guys. I just want to check out what this. So this means that this quest leads to another one, and yeah, it's what I thought. It's the housing quest. So we're just gonna pass by, pass by these. We don't need any of them, and we're gonna go way further down still. It's kind of a long run. I didn't realize that, so we might have been better off doing the other quest first, but it's okay. We'll be fine. We'll run by here. See what sights we can see. See if we see any other hunting hunter quest or hunting log stuff. Are these guys? Yeah. These guys, I think, are on a lot of them, so uh, let me do these rusty coblin ones real quick. So we're gonna do the thunder so we can put a dot on him. And then our our low level rotation of fire 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 transpose. <laughs> blizzard, blizzard, blizzard. Oh, he was about to explode or something. He didn't have a chance to with what we did. I'm I'm actually really liking the black mage. I I think there we go. I said in before, like, see that thing we had to step out and cancel our spell casting. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm actually finding that we're doing more damage um, than a lot of other classes actually at this level and with hardly any gear. So I, I do like it. I like the class. I, wait till, I was waiting till the um, Umbral Ice left so that we won't have to use Transpose. Let's get out of that. And I, another thing is, what I'm doing here, like these back steps like that, if you decide to play this game, if you're watching this, you don't play it, don't back up like that. <laughs> uh, use your mouse to turn and go, because it, it go, you go so slow, you're probably going to get hit if it is not a fast, uh, fast count, or if not a long countdown for it to go off. There's a shirtless man up there that <laughs> distracted me, but okay. Here's our destination, so we can click on this, and we are actually putting this dried fish down. And this should summon a buzzard. Well, the fish is there. Oh, okay. 
And then we can come back here, click this, like we're hiding. <laughs> and anytime it's purple, again, that means that something's gonna pop up. So here's the buzzard that we can kill. Double five, well, I guess he's a vulture. Are vultures and buzzards the same thing? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's like nature trivia that I should know, but I don't. Okay. All right, and then we can go, okay. We turn it in down here. So we'll go turn this in. Uh, we're actually gonna run through a fate here. I might pick up some of these and turn them in for the fate so we get a little, just a small boost, a small experience boost. So this, this is another unique fate where you can either kill these things to get these earth sprite shards. It will kill this one since I was dumb and ran right by it and aggroed it. Or you can run around and pick up those earth spirit cores and you turn them in. And depending on how many you deliver to the main person, that's how much you get from, from the fate. Like your participation in the fate. So we got quite a few of them. Um, it looks like people have been turning them in. I wonder if they're going to get mad if I go turn mine in. Actually, I'm going to grab this. He's probably going to finish the fate up right here by turning those in. And we have one minute to do that. So let's quickly kill this guy. So we have one minute left. 51 seconds to kill this guy and turn in all of our earth cores. Oh God. <laughs> I'm on a time limit. I'm nervous. Palms, palm, palms are sweaty. <laughs> Mom spaghetti. <laughs> what's, what's the thing? All right, let's turn these in and that will be our participation in the fate. We got seven of them, so it's not bad. And uh, if we wanted to, we could go collect a few more, but nah, I'm good. We'll move on, and I, even if we go out of range, we'll still get stuff from that fate, so. So let's go turn this, uh, vulture breast into Fafafono here. See what he has to say. So, you're done making use of my testing grounds, are you? Cough up the fee, then. There, we got the gold medal. Good experience. That almost pushed us straight up, and just a little bit of gill, so... Whoops. Yep, we do. We have a vulture breast for you. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> there's nothing so tender as a bit of meat pummeled with wanton wizardry. Nice doing business with you, thaumaturge. Well, you're very welcome. D did you say thaumaturge? Has this mage just completed a guild trial? Ah, Master Alchemist, what brings you out to the Ar Bazaar this fine evening? The lady here just slew herself a plump vulture. You'd be surprised at how many of these scepter-wielding sorcerers end up sliced to ribbons by beak and talon. And that's not the sort of flesh I have a taste for, you understand? My brothers! Not again! <laughs> he must be, uh, one of the five little cult guys' brother. <laughs> he's just like, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. What's the quest he's got? Uh, nah. Okay, so, um, our return is not down. We don't have teleport. So, unfortunately, <laughs> I should have thought of that. We do have to run back, um, all the way back to Alda to turn this in. Because of our return not being down. And we didn't pick up any of the other Aetherites, like this one up here, Horizon, to be able to unlock the teleport skill. But that's okay. We'll get to see the game, see how pretty it is. See our shirtless friend up here again. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I am not going to join that fate. I want to get through these quests. So that fate's going to have to wait. Um, are we close? Almost. Not really. <laughs> it's a long run. Um, but yeah, we'll go do that. Wow, th that sky is really pretty. Just great, great look out here. I hope by turning down the grass quality, it actually looks okay. I, Cause I was noticing I was watching the last videos on YouTube and when we were out and about, 
and like in the city and there were a lot of people or a lot of like stuff happening um, it would just get a little bit pixelated and do a little bit of artifacting on us but not too bad I hope you guys were okay okay with it not too bothered by it but um, I don't know the game's just really graphic intense <laughs> I guess there was actually one part in when I was playing on the PS4 there was a part at the end game where I actually had to Google what to do because I was lagging like crazy in Idleshire, it's called. And I actually had to turn down how many people showed up on my screen and it fixed the problem. <laughs> but I don't think we, ha we have that problem here, so... I think it's just the graphics. And YouTube not accepting our encoding, I guess, but... <clears throat> oh well. Oh, more eggs. <laughs> I love them. Um, what would be the fastest way? We're actually right here. Okay. So we're right here at the Thaumaturgist Guild. We can run up here. Oh, those are so cool. Like, they go they go all out for their holiday events here. So this is, must be their spring Easter egg hunt. Alright. We got your vulture thing. And we turned it into the guy. So what's he got to say? <clears throat> Ah, I'll welcome back, Vesper. You seem to have done well, both eyes intact. Face appears unshredded. You had you doubted me? It truly is the most terrible feeling to have one's casting interrupted by heinous injury. Humph. <laughs> it's one of the easier trials, if you ask me. Keep well away from pointy, slashy, bashy things if you want to reach the end of an arcane utterance. That's just common sense. Fortune favors a fighter who flings fire from afar. I simply love the look of loathing leveled at me by the distant duelist distressed by my deadly downpour. Bwah ha ha ha. They really like their alliteration right here. <laughs> Maybe it's a Lollafell thing. We thaumaturges excel at offense, but fail miserably at defense. Our most effective strategy is to topple our adversaries with overwhelming force before they have a chance to respond. Honor is for knights. And dead mages. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Vesper, your studies appear to be progressing nicely. It won't be long before you dominate the battlefield as an avatar of sorceress destruction. Uh oh. Here comes that diminutive alchemist. So it's true, Buki. Don't try to hide from me, Bygo. Or you, Banny, or Bezzy, or Boha. Kokabusi? What are you doing here? I'm never going to keep these names straight. You promised. You promised you would teach me next. Well, yes, of course we did, Boosie, but Vesper here was most insistent. <laughs> and once again, you brush me aside in the hope that I abandoned my heart's desire. Why do you deny me? I hate you. All of you. Aww. But those are your brothers. Please, Boosie. You shouldn't say such hurtful things. You know how delicate Bygo is. <laughs> um, that was Coco Boosie, our youngest brother. He so dearly wishes to become a thaumaturge like the rest of us, but it simply isn't possible. The poor boy's aetheric levels are pitiful, pitifully low. We thought we had convinced him to accept fate's cruel quirks when he entered the alchemist's guild, but he yet yearns to walk, walk the path of thaumaturgy. Such is Kokobusi's determination that he spends all his waking moments experimenting with alchemical, alchemical concoctions, seeking a method by which he can expand his capacity for arcane manipulation. Ahem. Well, this is obviously not your concern. Back to the abyss with you, young thaumaturge. And I mean that in the most encouraging manner possible. <laughs> Got some family drama. Family drama llama going on. Okay, um, we can skip the hat. The ring or the wrist will be nice, but we actually do need a new chest piece. And this is level 5, so we can wear it now. So I am going to take the chest piece. And we'll get a bone staff as well. There's my... <laughs> I've been... I was waiting for that. So we got level 7. And we got some armory pieces. So we got a new staff. Which we will equip. 
I got rid. It did get rid of our our shield. So you it looks like the staff is like a, a two handed weapon, and the scepter is a one. But I'm okay. The the staff does more. Um, and then we got our new robe, which you know, <laughs> something to be desired. But hey, at least we got our Moogle hat. Um, once we get our retainer, I'll put these away. These are, all of these came from, here I'll put some of them on. These are some of the, um, what am I trying to say? Subscriber rewards. So like this is Strife's outfit, I think. And then we got the Wild Rose one. Look, <laughs> the Chocobo chick. So that one looks, looks pretty cool. It's pretty nice. And then we got this like vest thing that we could wear for being a subscriber, but they don't have any stats on them. So uh, when we get our retainer, I'll put those all away so they're not confusing us. Um, we couldn't pick up the next quest. It was level 10. So we'll have to come back here at level 10, but that does mean, whoops, we can go f see Roger now, <laughs> deliver the pumpkin to Roger. He is going to be central Thanalan, um, steps of, Steps of Nald looks like. So we'll go to the Nald Central Thanalan. Go find Roger. Give him his pumpkin and see what he has for us to do next. Um I I feel like every time I play this game, it's it's night. <laughs> like I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the hours that I that I play it personally, but it feels like it's night more than it's day out here. What fate is this? Uh, we're not- that's that same boss fight fate, I think, so we're gonna skip that. Oh, <laughs> but another hunting log, so can't quite skip these yet. We're gonna do these surfid clouds? Surfid? I always thought it said sylphid clouds, but it's not. Bugs. We're killing bugs, <laughs> is what we're doing. Okay, let's get this other one. Looks like we need three of them, so these will these will go quick. The Thaumaturge does great damage. I know we're like two levels higher than the mobs, but still. <laughs> Is there another one around here? Aha, okay, right here. So we'll get this down. And that should push this up a little bit because this is, I think, a higher level thing in the hunting log. There we go. Oh, we didn't get a whole lot from that, actually. Um, our quest is actually in here. This is the coffin, or the coffer and coffin. I am going to do something really quick and I see this big blue crystal in the distance. We're going to go touch it. We're gonna go touch the butt, like, from, <laughs> from Finding Nemo. So I just wanna lay my hands on it so that we could get our teleport skill and go back and forth um, a little bit quicker than having to run everywhere. So let's touch it. Touch it, touch it, touch it. There we go. The tuning. There, teleport learned. So now the teleport skill Anytime we find a big one like this, we can use a teleport and just go straight to it. So we can actually go back to Alda if our return is down, or um, now we can come here and this this place is actually Blackbrush Station. So it's like a little train station. Kind of cool. But now, finally, uh, Roger's probably like, where's my pumpkin? <laughs> like we've just been running all over Eorzea, but we do- whoop stuck on a rock where you do have his pumpkin form so we'll go give the man his pumpkin hey roger drink for your lassie you won't get better ale or spirits for your coin than at me place nope i come bearing presents what's that we sisadoa asked you to bring this here to me ha has so even that foul mouth drunk knows the meaning of remorse reckon this is for the time i carried his drink sodden arse back home but hells, an honest to God's pumpkin from the royal plantations. I can't wait to see what the cooks will do with her. The lads here scoff down beastly amounts of meat, and it's starting to tell on their health. It'll be good to get more vegetables in their bellies, assuming I can get the stubborn bastards to try something new. Thanks for your help, lassie. 
Yeah, no problem. Oh, we got marmot steak. So we could get a food buff from that. Oh, and uh, achievement, storyteller. Uh, complete 10 unique quests. Is that all we've done? <laughs> like, I feel like we've done so much more. So, so we can pick up our level 7 disorderly conduct and we'll get mustard eggs or... Oh, uh, we'll take the food. I always like getting food buffs, so... You know, Lassie, if you're just gonna stand around with your thumb up your arse, hey now, I can give you something to do. Thanks to me unbelievably low prices, we've no shortage of customers here at the Coffer and Coffin. But by the same token, I can't afford to hire much help. We're chronically understaffed. What's more, there's those lazy arse types what refuse to come in order at the counter. I'd, it'd be a great help if you could attend these customers for me. You want me to wait tables? <laughs> I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV and I'm waiting tables. Great. Mark their orders on these here slips, then bring them here. Oh, and don't forget about old Adelfuns outside. Alright, let's go take some orders from some of these guys. So, uh, Ron Delf, what do you want? Thaw's balls I'm spent. <laughs> Grilled dodo and a tankard of air ale to wash it down. Gah, here I am again, spending what meager coin I've got at the coffin. It ain't me fault, I tell you. You'd do the same if your wife served up shite every bleeding day. Dang. Yeah, I mean, just be happy she cooks for you, alright? You don't gotta be mean about it. Alright, let's see what Rickard wants. Gods, I'm starving. Bring me ale, grilled dodo, and smoked shrew loaf. And make it quick. Business is good, too good even. I've nary got the time to take a piss, let alone eat. The mere thought of the coffin's cooking makes my mouth water. These guys are like sailors with their potty mouths, but... Alright, uh, excuse me, solid trunk? Let's see what you want. The strongest brandy wine you've got. I need help to forget. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. What does he want to forget, poor guy? Okay, and one more. They said he was outside. There he is. Adelfuns. Roger's new errand girl, are you? Well then, I'll keep it simple for your sake. A tankard of your finest ale, chilled with an ice shard. <laughs> There's nothing like a tall drink to help one forget about the trifling things in life. Like work. <laughs> Alcoholic. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> Alright, here, Roger. I took to everyone's orders. That's all the orders, then? Yep, there you go. O oily order slip. Let's see here. Ale... Brandywine, grilled dodo, and for Adelfuns, let me guess. One tankard of ale. Right bleeding miser, that one. I oughta put me boot up as ours. <laughs> Any road, you did good, lassie. By way of thanks, I'm gonna tell you something what oughta prove to your profit. Okay? I'm gonna take your mustard eggs, please. Alright, and we can pick up the next one. Until a quieter time. Okay? Word is, Blackbrush Station's sorely undermanned. The stone torches there can't get a moment's peace. It don't help none that the antlings have been multiplying like it's nobody's business. For every critter Warren and his crew put down, two more of the buggers spawn in its place. I was thinking, mayhap you can make yourself useful at the station by culling some antlings. I don't doubt Warren would appreciate the help. And if we win his trust, he's like to have more work for ye. Mind ye, you'll need to show the man proof of your deeds. Five or so antling mandibles ought to do the talking for ya. Gross. <laughs> we gotta collect some ant jaws. Alright, let's go find some antlings. Looks like they're up here. There, I see them. Um, okay. So we'll kill these, collect five mandibles, and then go... What was his name? Warren? We'll go talk to Warren and see if he's got some work for us. Okay, did we get one? Yes, obtained an antling mandible. Let's get this one. <clears throat> and then um, after we do this, we'll probably, we're getting close to the time. So depending on how long it takes to turn this in, we might end the episode there before picking up the next one. Um, and it, it should get us to, whoops, should get us to level eight doing all this. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, what do we got? Three? So we need two more. I see two. Two of my um, targets straight ahead. So I'm going to wait till this goes away and then open up with the fire. Although I should have opened up with the thunder. But that's okay. We'll get the hang of it, guys. 
I mean, it's gonna change every time some new spell comes up, so. Okay, let's put a thunder. And get the fire going. And I wonder what we'll get. Uh, I didn't actually look at the quest reward, so I don't know what we're gonna get from this, but. Okay, we got our mandibles. We're gonna go talk to Warren here. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of leg, so it might look a little bit weird on the YouTube video. It's not you guys, it's me. <laughs> so, Warren, what? You say you put down some antlings? You are scarce the first to come here and make that claim, hoping to earn quick coin. Unless you have proof of this feat, you'll not see a single gill from me. It just so happens I brought you their jaws. <laughs> Thal's balls, are those antling mandibles? Then it's true, you really called the beast. I apologize for doubting your words. With Alda nearby, you'd think we were out of harm's way. Truth is, the antlings have been more active than ever. We can never have too many able-bodied adventurers to help persevere, or preserve the peace in the area. If you would lend us your aid, I should gladly assign you a task. Gods knows we have no shortage of them here. Sure. Oh, okay, so we could get wristbands. Oh, wristbands are wristbands. <laughs> and we are going to want the intelligence and mind one. We do have to be level 8, so here's hoping this levels us up. Perfect. So let's take a look at our wrist. And we got a new spell, so we'll look at that in just a second. Uh, where's our wrist? Right here. We got copper wristless that have plus 1 intelligence, plus 1 mind. So let's put those on. What did we have on? Oh. Where do we get this weathered wristlets from? It has plus one everything. Um, I would rather do the plus one everything <laughs> instead of just plus one intelligence and mind. Okay. Um, okay, and then we got sure cast, which the next spell is cast without interruption. Does that mean like if we get hit? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something really quick because if that means that. I can cast this and then move and cast. It does not. It just means I, if I get hit, I won't be interrupted. Okay. Not as great as I thought it was, but it's all right, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all right. Um, I'm not going to have that right there on the bar. I'm going to put it up here. So, Okay. Let's pick up the next quest from, from Warren here. So, Warren wishes to inspect your equipment before... Oh... I hope that we pass this. So, we stone torches are cell swords hired by Amagina and Sun's mineral concern to protect its interests. Our primary duty here is to keep the tracks clear of pests, and it is for this purpose that we, we require your aid. You have proven that you have some skill at arms, but before I send you into the mist of fell fiends, I would inspect your gear. A single piece of gear can mean the difference between life and death. I'll not have it on my conscience that I send an ill-equipped adventurer to an untimely demise. So, or see to it that your arms and armor are in order. When you are ready, present yourself to me again. Okay, equip your head, body, hands, legs, and feet with gear of item level 5. Now, I think they changed this because you did used to have to equip every single piece of this with item level... <laughs> Hello, Black Chocobo. Um, every piece of gear at level 5. But, um, yep, I see it already. He, he's green. And we don't have level 5 and everything. Do we? No. We don't have level 5 and everything, so they definitely changed that to make it easier, I think, so. So, you're ready for inspection? Good. Everything appears in order. Yet know that not is guaranteed in this world. Fate is a fickle mistress, after all. At any rate, capable adventurers like you are few and far between, and I would not have you throw your life away. I have had to bury too many comrades, hate <laughs> this chocobo, who brushed aside cracks in their hauberks and dents in their helms. No matter what you face, do not disregard the importance of gear. Thank you. Got some crafting, we got a high potion. Um, <laughs> yes, chocobo, <laughs> he's like right up in our face. This bronze hoplin, we can't actually use, so we're going to take the money. Okay. And he's got another quest for us. And there's a side quest that popped up, but I don't know if we... What is it? No. I don't want it. I don't care about that ring. So we're going to take the main quest. Uh, Warren has worked for an adventurer willing to exterminate the coblins attacking ore wagons. Okay. 
Let's get to it then, shall we? Ore wagons pass through the station every day, but not without incident. Wagons coming and going from the dispatch yard to the south must pass through a tunnel by Fesca's watch, a tunnel in which some genius saw fit to put an ore storehouse, creating ideal conditions for a coblin nest. So now the ore-loving beasts have taken up residence in a tunnel we dug, and we're practically delivering meals to their doorstep. But no more. Inside the tunnel in question, you will find a narrow fissure with where the coblins hide. Use this silver ore cluster to lure out the creatures, then slay them. Okay. That sounds wonderful. However, we are at the end of our time for this episode. So when we come back, we will go and we will lure out those coblins. <laughs> Thank you for waving in our face. We'll lure out the coblins. We'll continue the main story. Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll get to level 10 and pick up our next Thaumaturge quest. But this is going to be where we end for the day. So, uh, if you guys do like the episode, you do like the series, you want to see more of it, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me comments in the comment section. And let me know that you want to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everyone.